Hey everybody, what's going on? Just back with another video. So, as we all know, Robert Kennedy Jr. and Tulsi Gabbard have recently came out and basically supported uh, Donald Trump. Robert Kennedy is not off the ballot. He's just suspended his campaign. He's going to take his name off of about 10 ballots. Uh, he tried to take his name off in Michigan, but apparently they're not letting him now, which is kind of interesting, right? They, the Democrats tried to sue him to keep him off the ballot, and then he says, okay, I'll drop from these swing states, or these battleground states, I'll go over with Trump and remove my name from states like Michigan. And now Michigan says, nope, sorry, can't do it. Very interesting how that works, right? Now, the good thing is for Robert Kennedy supporters is that generally speaking, we're pretty smart. We know that they want to do this to split the, the Trump supporters over to Robert Kennedy, and then that way it gives the, the Democrats and Kamala Harris a better chance of winning. Because as we've seen since Kamala Harris took over, some Democrats have left Kennedy's team for some reason and went back to Harris. And now most of Kennedy's supporters are also are, would lean towards Donald Trump. So what Robert Kennedy is asking is to, if you live in a blue state like California and you're a Republican, vote for Kennedy because Trump's not going to win California anyway. The reason he's he wants to do this and the reason he's basically teamed up with Donald Trump is to kind of help each other out. Right. Donald Trump brought Robert Kennedy in and said, listen, you're going to have a, a seat in my transition team, which means he's going to be allowed to help Donald Trump pick his cabinet members, which is fantastic. And Tulsi is going to have a spot on the, on the same commission team. So that's going to be great. Anyone who wants to be on Trump's cabinet is going to have to go through those two first, which is fantastic news if Trump's telling the truth. Um, Robert Kennedy has also convinced Trump to really take a look at the health, uh, the chronic health issues with our children which is also amazing if he's telling the truth. He's also talked about you know, releasing the JFK assassination files. So he's doing these things to kind of help Robert Kennedy. And in turn, Robert Kennedy is asking Trump supporters in California, in Oregon, and Illinois, let's say, to vote for Kennedy. Because if Kennedy can get 5% of the national vote, he then gets official party status for the 2028 election, which makes it way harder for the Democrats to screw with him. He won't have to go through and get signatures and donate or raise a bunch of money. He's just on the ballot automatically, ballot automatically and he can just campaign. And any frivolous lawsuits thrown at him will be easily dismissed because he has official party status. So Trump and Robert Kennedy are, are on the same team, at least for now, and same with Tulsi. And this is what they're asking Robert Kennedy supporters to do is, if you're in a swing state, please vote for Donald Trump just to stop Kamala Harris from winning. A lot of people will say, well, that's a coalition. That's not right. Well, keep in mind, there's a lot of Canadians where I am saying that as they literally support a coalition. So let's just start with that. The NDP and liberal parties up here are in a flat out coalition right now. So you have a problem with coalitions. It seems like, well, you only have a problem with it when the other side does it. Well, that's what they're doing. So now Trump supporters and Kennedy supporters are basically united, helping each other out, and that way, if since Robert Kennedy has removed his name, and even if they're going to stop him from doing that in Michigan, Robert Kennedy supporters are smart enough to know that their vote should go to Donald Trump. Because the only way Robert Kennedy right now is going to get in the office is with Donald Trump's help, basically, to be in his cabinet, to be heading up these you know health committees or assassination committees, whatever you want to call them. So... You know, ever since basically July 13th and Kamala Harris taking over... Both parties, both sides have seemed a little bit more galvanized. And now that we're getting close to the election, independent support is dropping a little bit. Uh, wasn't a very good uh, middle of July to uh, middle of August was not a very good month to be uh, an independent. But either way, Robert Kennedy kind of saw the writing on the wall, not to mention the Democratic Party was suing him. Pennsylvania, uh, Pennsylvania, Illinois, New York, California, Texas. And he won a bunch of those lawsuits. However, they're, they're just not stopping. They're just coming in. And the, uh, they're coming in every day. And the Democrats have so much money to stop people that this is what they're doing. They don't care about starving people. They're going to spend tens of millions of dollars, lawsuit after lawsuit after lawsuit, trying to stop Robert Kennedy because apparently that's what's important to them. Right? The party of the Democrats, the party of democracy, wants you to not have a choice to vote for Robert Kennedy. So that's what they've done to tr basically stop him. And since they've done that... Robert Kennedy and Tulsi Gabbard have kind of come to a agreement and come to terms with the fact that 
wow, it looks like the Democratic Party is actually way more corrupt than the Republicans are. And it's true. It wasn't Donald Trump trying to sue Robert Kennedy and stop him from being on the ballot. It was all the Democrats. So since they decided to screw him, not to mention they changed the rules in the primaries too, which is a whole other crazy thing they did. They've done everything they can, the Democrats, to stop Robert Kennedy. So now he's saying, okay. And he's he actually reached out to Kamala Harris to speak to her about his ideas and what she thinks. She wouldn't even pick up the phone. Him and Donald Trump have been talking. And Donald Trump's like, well, I actually agree with a lot of these things. We have disagreements, COVID, for example. But there's a lot of things that they do agree on. And if Donald Trump keeps his promise, and I know that's a big if because he does lie a lot, but this would actually be a really stupid thing for Trump to lie about because this could not only take him, uh, swing him over to win the election, if he puts Robert Kennedy and Tulsi Gabbard in his cabinet and in his transition team, et cetera, et cetera, and he puts, let's just say he stops the Ukraine, or stop, I don't want to say a specific war, he, let's just say he stops wars. YouTube's terms of service is pretty... Uh, <laughs> You know, iffy on talking about certain wars. So I'll just say a certain conflict overseas. Let's get us out of that. And then put even a 10% dent into the chronic health care issue with children. That right there would make him... Oh, and sorry, I've also forgot the releasing the rest of the JFK files, which are being illegally held from the public. So if Trump does all three of those things, which wouldn't be hard for him to do, he can essentially just let Robert Kennedy work on those things. Trump can bring home the troops and then Robert Kennedy can work on the, the assassination files and he can work on the, the health care crisis. That would make Trump easily the best president of my lifetime. And it's not even close. I'm not saying he's going to do it. I'm just saying if he does, it wouldn't even be close. Better than Obama, better than Clinton, better than the Bushes, better than Biden. No question about it. So hopefully Donald Trump listens to Robert Kennedy and lets Robert Kennedy go to work. It'd be a very stupid promise for Donald Trump to break, but who knows? He's done stupid things before, so we'll have to see. But then again, when you have a, a near-death experience, sometimes that does change you. Maybe it's changed Donald Trump. Maybe he sees, he's like, hey, I actually do care about our children. I wasn't aware of how bad things were, but maybe he is now. Maybe he really has changed. Maybe he really does want to drain the swamp this time. We don't know. But it's a lot better than what Kamala Harris is saying when she can even... I mean, she's too busy cackling. You can't even really understand what her policies are. I mean, it's just, she's... I mean, she's insane. So hopefully Donald Trump keeps his his promises. And what I, one thing I wanted to ask you guys, so please let me know in the comment section. Will you... If you are living in a swing state, will you help Robert Kennedy by voting for Donald Trump? And if you're a Republican who lives in a blue state like Colorado or Illinois, will you vote for Kennedy to help Kennedy? Right, Both sides of the of Robert Kennedy supporters and Trump supporters really need to come together here. Help Kennedy out where you can and help Trump out where you can. It's the only chance that we have to, to make sure that we avoid a Kamala Harris presidency, if that's even enough, if you know what I'm talking about. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Not going to talk about that, but I think we all understand that there may be certain attempts to not allow Donald Trump to be in office, as we've seen with, you know, them trying to put him in jail and trying to murder him. Now, maybe it wasn't the Democrats who tried to do that. Okay, I'm sure it was just another lone shooter. Sure it was. But obviously we see how corrupt the Democrats are. I don't think they'll shy away from anything to stop Donald Trump. So who knows, right? And I'm not trying to be a conspiracy theorist. I'm just saying they clearly don't want this guy to be in president and they're going to do everything they can to stop him. So that's all I'm saying. So, I mean, we'll see how it goes. But will you help Robert Kennedy help Trump? Will you help Trump help Kennedy? So please let me know in the comment section. I'm uh, really looking forward to uh, what you guys... I always look forward to what you guys say, but this one I'm really looking forward to it uh, just because it's a very interesting topic in my opinion. Uh, also, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps grow this channel. Thanks again so much for watching, guys, and I hope that you have a great day. And I'll be back shortly with a new video.